Well, good evening, everyone, and welcome to the ninth annual Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences Governor's Awards. A, <laughs> a special thanks to Governor David Rubin and his dedicated staff for producing this evening's celebration. and for making this a night to long remember. I also want to thank the 54 extraordinary men and women representing the Academy's 17 branches. Will all of our esteemed governors please stand so we can thank you for your tireless work. I hope you look closely, everybody. This may have been the only time you'll see all of us respond in unison. <laughs> this is my first Governor's Award celebration as your Academy President, and I'm privileged to join you tonight to honor five artists whose work and careers have inspired us all. This is the Academy's 90th year. And it reminds me that these awards honor filmmakers who have touched us beyond measure for decades. We do these awards for them, yes, but as well for those who will inherit their visions, today's emerging talents, some of whom we meet in the Academy's outreach and intern programs, and some not yet born, future filmmakers who will become the next Burnett, Roisman, Varda, Sutherland, Inyaritu. You all can help us find and foster new talent. Tonight's honorees have each added a singular voice to the chorus that is world cinema. This evening, we don't simply give them an Oscar. We give them our deepest respect for the enduring legacy of work they have shared with the world to Director Charles Burnett. A cinema poet whose journey took him from the Mississippi Delta to the streets of South Central LA and beyond, who takes us on new journeys to places in our own city among our fellow citizens living parallel lives, as many of us roar past them on elevated freeways. To Owen Roisman. A five-time Academy Awards Cinematography nominee for such great films as The French Connection, The Exorcist, and Network. <laughs> Owen's an artist whose technical innovations, camera style, and lighting have always set an enviable standard to which all we cinematographers aspire and whose iconic images inspire and also haunt us. To Agnes Varda. <laughs> Muse, trailblazer, icon, a woman who launched a cinema movement a woman who launched a cinema movement with her first feature, La Pointe Courte, years before her male French colleagues, an artist whose work remains at the cutting edge of cinema and whose films have shown us that the most personal visions can also touch popular audiences. 
for pushing the boundaries and pushing our buttons, we say, Agnes Tutno Felicitacion. and to the inimitable chameleon-like Donna Sutherland. <laughs> whom I worked with on Ordinary People, where he played Calvin, father of the Jarrett family, riven by the loss of a son. Again and again, Donald has moved us with the astounding range of his characters, from Hawkeye Pierce and Robert Altman's M.A.S.H., to John Baxter and Nick Rogue's Don't Look Now, from Fellini's Casanova, to Hunger Games' President Snow. The movies of these four artists have set a high bar for us to emulate. And even as evolving technology leads us forward, they remind us that some things never go out of style. Truth, humanity, vision, and heart. But so too does the work of the artist to whom we tonight give a rare special Oscar statuette, Alejandro Gonzalez Iñárritu. Alejandro is a filmmaker whose intensely emotional vision is custom made for times like now. If you've been to the Los Angeles County Museum of Art to experience his multimedia work, Carne y Arena, to walk in virtual reality in the footsteps of Mexican migrants crossing the desert of our American Southwest in search of a new life, you will feel in your body, cinema's ability to transcend place and politics, to touch our shared humanity. Tonight's honorees inspire the next generation of filmmakers with the same sense of wonder and enchantment that first touched us all. They lift us up with their images and their words, reminding us that creativity, conscience, and conviction the very heart of film, remains as powerful today as they were more than 100 years ago when a group of ragtag cinema pioneers abandoned the cliffs of Fort Lee, New Jersey for the sunny climes of Southern California and created Hollywood movies. And so, from the Academy, 90 years young, a toast to our honorees. We ask you all to lift up your, to lift us up once more as we raise our glasses to you and to the movies that are our lives. Cheers. Thank you and have a great evening. <laughs>